ready for the day and I just wanted to kind of have like a very casual style vlog because I haven't made one in a while and just kind of share some life updates, what I'm up to today and I don't know. Nobody asked for this video but I actually really enjoy it when vloggers or YouTubers or even just other people online that I really kind of get invested in um, just share like real life updates. My channel's mostly like, I don't wanna say calculated, but videos are planned out, you know? Like I write scripts for them, I have timelines and things like that. So sometimes it's just honestly really, really nice to do something casual, not stress myself out over um, the professional aspect of a video. It's currently June 28th. It's a Monday and I don't really know about you guys but the month of June has just been such a strange month for me. I've just not really felt like myself and a lot of you guys on Instagram were saying the same thing like a uh, mercury, <laughs> mercury and retrograde. I don't know that I necessarily wholeheartedly believe in that stuff but you know if it makes me feel better about feeling not like myself or just like wonky in general, then I just need something to blame, you know? In other news, last week was really exciting for me. I got to host and film for uh, like little commercials for tourism here in Japan. So I got to like host them and stuff, but it was a very, very long week. So I've just been really tired. Just manifest it with me, you guys. Ma manifest it travel show for me because that's literally the dream. I'm also still very much in love with my Dyson. I actually do my hair now. I don't think it's for everybody but in case anybody's still considering it this is what I've been using to style my hair and I feel like for someone that's like not a hairstylist um it makes life pretty easy. <laughs> I actually only I ended up just doing the top half of my hair because I just don't want to do all of it today. I really just want to lay and cuddle with Gus but I have Japanese class and I need to catch up on the tea with Tanaka-san and Medi-san in the Genki textbooks. Hi bub. Hi. Setting up for Japanese class now. We take it online with our teacher right now. Hopefully we'll go back in person in the fall. But we use the Genki textbooks. So this is the workbook. And then this is like the vocabulary book. Finished Japanese class and I'm eating. My husband's been making this like panko breaded chicken with coconut flour and then panko from the store. And it is so good with sweet chili sauce on it. It's literally the best. Sorry, I don't have any footage from Japanese class cause I mess up a lot and I feel awkward filming and I feel like it's an invasion of my teacher's privacy if I don't ask her or clarify ahead of time. So I just got done watching, well catching up on The Bachelorette. I'm watching Katie's season. Hi guys, we're gonna go on a walk here in a minute. Um, I missed last week's episode because I was gone. So I need to catch up and I need to know if anybody else is watching. I genuinely hate that I watched that show because I don't even really enjoy it. I feel like I still watch it because it's a way for me to do nothing, like literally nothing, but like scroll TikTok and have The Bachelorette on, I don't know. Does anybody else feel that way or is anyone like actually genuinely invested in that show? I feel like my brain melts, you know? Now, I am personally not in school, but I definitely consider myself a lifelong learner. Like I need the stimulation of 
taking a Japanese class or learning a new skill or having hobbies like it keeps my brain sharp and I I just genuinely like to learn all the time shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video I am about to watch next um, some Skillshare videos I haven't figured out which one I'm going to watch next Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring videos for creatives or curious people and they have a ton of different categories like photography illustration entrepreneurship organization. I've even watched videos on how to make dumplings and take care of my plants. What I really like about this program is that it is geared towards learning so there's no advertisements like you literally just get to watch the lessons. One of the videos that I found to be extremely helpful is Oliver Astrologo. He is a director and filmmaker and the lesson that I specifically like is video editing transforming footage into evocative travel stories. So I've learned a lot of things about post-production and how to plan for your videos to make sure that your storytelling is fluid but to also make the editing process a lot easier and streamlined. Right now, they're really focusing on people finding hobbies, interests, and honing in on their expertise this summer. So the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in my description are going to get a one month free trial of Skillshare Premium. Start exploring your creativity today, and I hope that you guys love and learn from it as much as I have. So I actually just got to a new cafe or I don't actually know if it's new it's new to me it's called coffee roaster and I'm meeting my friend here for dinner I thought we were supposed to be meeting here for breakfast because the name is coffee roaster so it's actually really funny like when we were planning on coming here I was like let's meet at nine and she was like that's really late for dinner but I assumed coffee roaster meant breakfast anyway I'm rambling at this point so I'm excited to see what kind of food they have. I looked online at the little menu and it looked like they have like curry and sandwiches and stuff like that, but I'm kind of in the mood for like a good salad. So hopefully they have something like that. By the way, kakigori, which is like shaved ice with toppings is my favorite summertime treat in Japan. They usually only serve it in the summertime. How cute the front is. Oh my gosh. Guys, this garden is actually so cute. Even though it's literally right next to like a busy road right there, it's actually really nice and peaceful out here. And he told me whenever we're ready, we can post this to order. Coffee. Hi guys, it is the next day. Um, I, dinner last night was actually really, really awesome. They actually have quite a small dinner menu, but I feel like it'd be a really good spot for like brunch or breakfast or something. So today I'm out running some errands and I've come to 18 store because I'm really craving their vegetable burrito. So I'm gonna get that to go for lunch. This is like a nice little flower shop. This area is called Mameka. And then this is 18 store and the veggie shop, which has smoothies and stuff like that. So I'm going into 18 store. I actually just ran into Linda Iwakuni Foodie in there. She's always there. She's a really good friend of mine, but she was eating with a friend. So I didn't really want to like, like, let me film you on camera. And her friend thinks that we're like crazy. Um, so anyway, this is the lovely salad burrito. It is so freaking good. And it comes with a little like french fry moment. And then I got the pineapple soda. It's so refreshing. It's kind of on the sweeter side today, but nonetheless perfect for a hot day. And the two of them together were about a thousand yen which is a little bit less than two, two, 10 US dollars. Also, the owners are so nice. They are two sisters and they own the restaurants and I think the flower shop, I could be wrong, but they asked me about my Aichi trip from last week where I was like working with that company, the travel company. I just thought that was really nice because they follow me on Instagram, but I follow them too, so 
I'll link them below in the, the description so you guys can go eat if you're in Iwakuni. It's like in the middle of the lotus fields. It's really cool. I'm in Cosmos. I forgot my camera, so I'm filming on my phone. Um, I really wanted ice cream, so I walked over here to just like look around and stuff. And I'll just kind of show you around the store too. So Cosmos is a lot like a drugstore, but better because you can get band-aids and medicine, protein powders, lotions, beauty products, but they also have food and snacks as well. The ice cream section is so big in the summertime. I wanted to show you some of my favorites. So I really love all the little haagen -Dazs, even though they're really expensive. They're like $2.50 for a little one. They have really interesting flavors. Are like flavored shaved ice. This looks good. It's a whole squeezed lemonade. I think I'm gonna get one of these. I love these in the summertime. It's literally just flavored ice. These tiny little ice cubes, and I like to pour Papari sweats over these to drink them. melon soda flavored ice cream. So these are sweet black bean ice creams. That's an ice cream bar too. SK2 makes really really nice like cotton balls or um, they look exactly like this. So these are kind of the dupes for that. The SK2 ones are like 12 or 14 dollars but you can get them here for much less. And my husband uses these for his toner. They're awesome. They're so soft. I feel like Curel is a popular brand back home, isn't it? Can somebody tell me? Because I really want to try some of their stuff because it looks like it's like affordable-ish. So if you guys recommend anything by this line, let me know. They have like BB cream and little powders. I just don't really know what's good from them. This is so interesting. <laughs> I feel like it's like braces for your toenail. Like this one's just curved and looks honestly very painful. And then you put this on it and it like straightens it out. What? What? I don't know if I should be like bothered or impressed. So I got this. It's musu. And it's kind of like a push pop ice cream. So it's ice cream inside. I've never tried this before, but I'm excited for it. And you just push it up. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever had a go-gurt before, but that's what it reminds me of. Oh. Mm -mm. Mm. So it's basically like a frozen pudding. It's really, really good. Mmm. I'm happy. So I'm watching Too Hot to Ta Too Hot to Handle, Too Hot to Handle, and I'm making dinner. We have leftover spaghetti. It's real fancy in here, and I should have recorded this, but it's very, very easy. Like I will never buy tomato sauce from a store again because it's so easy to make. So I bought these like really big tomatoes from like the local market here. So I chopped up three of these and I literally just had them simmering in a pan with a little chicken stock. And then you just season it however you want. I like salt, pepper, chili flakes, um, a little bit of onion powder and you're good to go. I also use like this cocktail masher thing to mash the tomatoes to keep it simple and it's ready in like no time. My husband doesn't like garlic, but I do. So I just, crushed up some garlic and I'm gonna put it in my pasta with the sauce. And you have a super easy dinner, like homemade dinar. It's fantastic, so easy. Honestly, it, it took me way less time to explain it to you than it would have for me to like film the whole situation aesthetically. Like, let me know if you need like an actual tutorial and I'll do it in another video. Anyway, let's plate this bad boy. I'll film that for you. A large, like a really big garlic clove, and then <laughs> uh, like another half garlic clove. And I just made it into like a little paste. I mean, look at this. 
It's so easy to do. If you've never made tomato sauce at home, like, it's way less expensive. You can make more and you can, literally it'll taste however you want it to. Look at that. <laughs> 